In this video, I will be showing you how you can create Facebook or Meta custom audience. So what is custom audience? Custom audience is an ad targeting option that lets you find existing clients or existing audience using the people across the meta technologies. You can get your audience from Instagram, from Facebook page that have reacted to you before, your pixel, your list. I'm going to show it to you. So there are many options there in custom audience as well. I'm going to show you some of them that I use frequently, some that are more frequently used by not only me but a lot of other people as well. And this is mainly used when you run Facebook ads. It's important so that you don't need to keep searching. You can just save it and then you can keep using the custom audience. Okay, without further ado, let me jump into my computer and let me show you how you can create custom audience for your Facebook or Meta ads. Let's go. Okay, first of all, let's log into your Facebook account using your computer, of course, because you're running ads. Use your computer to run ads, everybody. Go to top right, there's nine dots here. Click on it. Scroll down, you should be able to see Professional Ads Manager. Click on it. All right, so this is a sample of ad account that I'm using to run ads. So I'm going to show you how you can create the custom audience. So you can straight away go to one place to create it, or I can show you one way you can do it first. For example, you're running ads. Okay, you're creating your ads. Then you, oh, forgotten to do your audience so what you can do you just go create just create any anyone will do my no traffic so fill up accordingly so there's one place you can do your custom audience you can scroll down now the ui that you see here ui means the user interface that you see here might be different between me and you i noticed i have run a few different ad accounts and i see that there's a lot of changes in terms of the design or the ui the user interface of this uh, facebook ads manager so sometimes they have a lot of like ai things or sometimes they have different original audience options sometimes there are many many things so it's very confusing but it is roughly similar you just need to know where to find it okay just another disclaimer because i have noticed there are many changes and facebook is testing a lot of things and for me they have run ads across different ad account i can see the changes across different ad accounts and it could be quite confusing okay now so let's just go into just use the original audience or you can just click here just show more options okay so you can see custom audience here or you can i will prefer go to switch to original audience that's for me okay because this is the one that i'm very used to when i run my ads you can create new here and create custom audience here this is one way you can do if you're already in the halfway of creating your campaign okay you can see click. there's many options here okay to to be better okay create it earlier ahead of time before you create your ads so this is where you go to create at the left side you can click here you can see the word audiences here just click on it so when you click on audiences you will come here uh, so from this is the place where you can create your custom audience so you can see there's three custom audiences custom audiences look alike audiences and save audiences i have a video about these three as well so this is what you call an audience the audience in facebook and you can read here connect with the account center accounts account center accounts basically just mean facebook accounts facebook profile facebook page instagram account and things like that all right we have already shown interest in your business or product with custom audiences so just now i've already told you people that have visited your facebook page instagram so you can target them again and you can create an audience for this okay so let's go on create a custom audience so there's many different type okay there's website this is to link when your source is from pixel so people have visited your website then you'll be able to target them again customer list if you have a customer list offline activity for people that's visited your offline site so this is usually used for those local businesses that's on ground like F and and things like that app activities if you have a mobile app catalog is if you are running uh, e-commerce using facebook ads meta sources video lead form uh, lead form is when people fill up their information instant experience is like a landing page in facebook also quite interesting i seldom see people use this but apparently it works so let's just seldom people use okay shopping instagram account people visit instagram accounts certain events your facebook page or on facebook listing so the one that i mostly use because i work with a lot of local businesses so if you are local businesses looking to run facebook ads you can always find me you can go to website customer list video lead form instagram account and facebook page so i'm going to just go through this few not everything because everything i think you can just visit yourself for everything if you can you can just go in and have a look but i think those are the few that most people use especially website so when you click on website this is where you see your pixel and the pixel uh, you can choose which pixel it is you can see that there's different all website visitor people visit a specific page and also visitor by time span and you can put any how many percentage and if you have events basically they have more events currently you can't see it here because this pixel is not live uh, but if it's live you can see like lead event purchase event and things like that so for audience retention you can put up to 180 days if you want to for pixel 180 days is like six months so six months they visit the website they can still retarget them 
hey, it's up to you no matter how many days you put it you just put a name and a description and just put create audience you can put any any of the following or all of the following criteria so you can have more people you can include more people different sources or you can exclude people so just play around with this uh, i think this is one of the most used one especially for pixel you want to retarget people that visited your website or you want to retarget them for people that have visited your website uh, but have not opt in into your page into your landing page so you can use this as exclude okay so this can be done just name it in the way that you can remember next is customer list if you have the list of customer you want to put in so you can import from mailchimp can download file template there's a template to do that uh, basically you need to have email phone number if you have all this information that's the best if not email phone number and name if possible so that's it and then you just follow the guide there's a formatting guideline next you can just upload a file here and then they will identify everything and then they will just find your list so uh, this is a pretty good thing to do especially if you want to look to create a lookalike audience or another retargeting just retarget people that it's easier to sell to people that have already bought than people that's new so this one way you can do it if you have like certain promotion for existing client you can do this next is on video so a video there's a lot of different things you can do uh, choose engagement type people who have viewed how many percentage if you like or oh, people are super engaged to your video 75 percent okay but the thing is you need to select your videos so you can go to your page and then select the video that you want people to watch like this then after that if they have watched a lot then it will be there then the they'll count as a view and then they will put the audience there one thing to take note is that for facebook video every time you have a new video you have to update this again and again and yes you can edit the custom audience so it's not just one time and then that's it you can edit it from time to time and update it accordingly just make sure to remember especially for video you need to keep updated it all the time okay back lead form okay why i like lead form lead form is when people for example people have already signed up right uh, open the form for example people that have already opened the form uh, but they didn't fill up uh, so this is where you can target them or people that have already registered you don't want to target them again so you just exclude them from the list so you can see here anyone who opened the form or opened who didn't submit the form uh, this is the one that you want to retarget oh you did not submit the form is there something else any more things that you need clarification you can put here or people have submitted a form i usually use this to exclude so that my ads don't show to the same people again but again it all depends on you try not to make your audience too narrow or not it's very difficult for facebook to optimize audience retention for this for leads you can only up to 90 days okay just put accordingly again you include or exclude next is on instagram account okay so this is when you call, connect your instagram account so you can see the audience retention is up to 365 days so you can see that everyone who engaged with the professional account or you can see there's many different options here if i speak all of them it will be very long okay and you can choose your source here okay now you can see there's a lot of instagram page the the thing is you cannot search you have to see one by one which is which so if you like manage a lot of accounts you can see one whole long list one by one you need to find yeah facebook please do something about that uh, now let's go to facebook page same thing as well same thing the people engage your page so you can see engage like visited so again this is all the options that you have very interesting can be very detailed on who you can target which audience you want to target especially those that follow you so 365 days if not you can just 180 days the maximum is 365 days just make sure to put it accordingly here okay so yes that's it so i just went through the custom audience source for some of the main ones which is website customer list video lead form instagram account and facebook page the rest you can explore accordingly and see uh, how you fit basically you need to plan your whole campaign out before you run this but if i would suggest to you this is the few main one that you need website itself the source the pixel source is already good enough to do a lot, a lot of things uh, but if you want to target your existing clients or people that have already have affinity with you you can target their instagram page instagram account the audience in your instagram account or the audience in your facebook page there's many caveat into this now again if you're a business owner local business owner you need help to do that don't worry you have people like me to help you so feel free to contact me if you have any questions or you need help to run facebook ads for your business okay hope that this is helpful for you if you like what i share give me a like and also subscribe to this channel if you have not done so thank you and i see you next time goodbye